In this video, we're going to be dividing up a sample, specifically a vocal sample, using Logic 10.5's new samplers. And after we divide it up, we're going to be able to play it across the keyboard chromatically. So we're going to start, we're in Logic, we're going to open up a new software instrument track. And then that automatically loaded quick sampler for me, but I'm going to pretend that there's no plugin on it. So you just open it up, you're going to click this instrument over here, and we're actually going to start in quick sampler. So that's going to pop up. Now we're mostly going to focus on this area here at the top. So I'm going to drag in my sample, this one's from Splice, and I want to drag it onto Original. So Optimized would try to divide it up for you um, based on some features of the audio file, but we don't want that. We just want the entire audio file, so we're going to drop it on Original. Now we have the whole waveform here, so if I play this on Middle C. Headshot, don't you worry anymore. We hear the entire file. But now I want to be able to divide that up really easily so I can play it across the keyboard word by word. So now we're going to click this button up here that says slice and suddenly we have all these lines on the screen. So these divided up by key. So we have C1 in this case all the way up to F sharp 2. But obviously that is a lot of lines for just the seven words in this file. So what we're going to do is we're going to click these, double click them, and that's going to delete those lines. So if I scooch these around, I can now control how many keys are affecting this file. And it's always going to start with C1. So C1 is going to be the lowest and then it's going to grow up chromatically. So now I'm just going to make my way up the keyboard Headshot. Headshot. And try to get these word by word. All right, so now I've divided up into seven different notes, C1 through F sharp one. And every single one of those keys will start pretty much right where the word starts in the file. So now we're going to exit that. And we're going to go over to the multi sample. And when we open this up, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to close all these extra features. So the modulations, the mod matrix, and the synth. And I'm only going to have mapping selected. And actually, let's select zone right now so we can see the file. So since I just opened that up, you're going to see all the work you just did show up right here. You're going to see the audio file, which is up here, the Denny White, 128 B minor, and you're going to see it divided up across those keys that you just did. So if I play it again, Headshot, don't you worry anymore. all that work we just did is shown up right here. And you can see below the spots where it divided it up. So this is pretty cool because if I select these, I can actually make little adjustments now. I can add fades on both sides. I can shift these around if I didn't quite get it right the first time and make the cuts a little bit more specific in this if I want. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be able to move these around on the keyboard. So we want to get out of this keyboard view. If you go over here, click G, you're going to see the group. So again, it's grouping this as one audio file. So it didn't divide it up into separate audio files on your computer. It just sliced it up and is now reading the audio file in multiple parts. So if I go to the Z, now I see the slices, the zones. So the first thing we want to do before we move this around, I'm going to select all these. I want to turn pitch off because otherwise when I move them around on the keyboard, it's going to change the pitch and we don't want that. If you do want that, you can leave it on, but we're going to turn it off. And I also want to make sure one shot is selected. So that means that the entire slice is going to play all the way through before I hit the next key. You can turn that off if you want and then have a little bit more control, um, but this makes it a little easier to execute. So pitch is off, one shot is on. Now what we can do, go back to the keyboard, select all these again. And I can move them around. Let's say we want to go two octaves up. We want to start it on C3. So now if I play that on my keyboard. Headshot, don't you worry anymore. The exact same sounds are made two octaves higher. So you can move that around wherever you want. You can scooch them around so they're not all chromatic, things like that. And the, the actual little slices will not be affected. The pitches won't be changed. So again, that's how you take an audio file, slice it up in the quick sampler and then bring it over here to the multi sampler. And then at the very end, you can just save it as whatever you want and go from there. Thanks for watching.